Hi, I'm Michelle LeBlanc, coach without rival racing and the official coach of Memorial Hermann Ironman Texas. The Memorial Hermann Ironman Texas run course is a three loop course in the heart of the woodlands. The loop includes a few miles along a really scenic waterway and then the remaining part of the course goes through residential areas in the woodlands. It's a very flat course and it can be a very fast run, kind of depending on the climate. At that time of year, the weather can be somewhat unpredictable, um, but most likely it's going to be a hot and humid day. And even though the race is in the woodlands, uh, there really isn't much shade along the run course. Here's a video of the run course, along with some tips and pointers to help prepare you for race day. Okay, you start out from transition at Town Grieve Park and you run along the waterway. Come across, the first aid station will be somewhere right around here, be able to get some water, um, get, some, get some calories in. You'll run along the waterway until it ends, then you're gonna take a sharp right up this little hill. Last year they threw in a little kind of out and back there. Not sure if they're gonna do that again this year. Um, but you did an out and back and then you got into the parking lot here. You run through the parking lot. Um, you get a little bit of shade in here. This section can feel kind of lonely. There aren't too many, um, too many spectators back in here. It's kind of hidden. Here around the corner is um, on your left will be aid station, another aid station. Then you're gonna turn outside of these parking lots and you're actually gonna go on to the road here. You don't get on the pathway, but you're gonna go on to the road. You'll run down Lake Woodlands Drive. Again, you'll be on the, the road here, not on the pathway. Here's the only incline on the Ironman Texas course. It's a bridge that goes over Lake Woodlands, which is where you started your day in the, with the swim. So that's off to your left is North Shore Park and the swim start. Now you're gonna go off of kind of the main loop of the course into North Shore Park. And as you enter the park, you'll be able to call for your special needs bags. They'll, they'll call out your number or ask you if you need your bag. And then as you run around the park, they'll be getting your special needs bag if you requested it. In this section, it's, it's a great place to see who's behind you, kind of see who's in front of you. It's a great place to have your family and friends come out because you can see them along that, this loop in here. You'll also see a lot of family members out in this section. You come out in North Shore Park. Again, you get back up on the road, uh, not here on the pathway. You run along Lake Woodlands for quite a while come another, across another aid station right around here. Then once you get to the corner of Panther Creek, which is coming up here, you're gonna make a left turn. And this, this intersection that's coming up here in just a second is the farthest part point away from Market Street. So this is kind of as far out as you'll run before you start making a turn. Um, here you're gonna run along uh, East Panther Creek. Again, you're going to stay on the road in this section. You continue on Panther Creek, coming up right around mile marker two, and then just a ways ahead here will be also mile marker 20. You've got the third aid station right around here. Again, uh, serving Iron Man Perform, orange and lemon lime. Also, they'll have goo, roctane and regular goo on the course this year. Um, you'll wanna make sure you bring electrolytes. It's a really hot and humid day and this is a high sweat rate race. Now here you turned onto Woodlands Parkway and you're actually gonna run along the pathway in this section for almost almost a mile. And you will really come to appreciate this section. Um, it's shaded as you can see. There aren't any spectators out here for the most part. It's, it's a closed section. You're gonna continue through this little pathway until you hit South Shore Park. Around here is mile marker 12. Um, and then right to the right is gonna be your aid station number four. 
Off to your left is Lake Woodlands, where you swam. Then you're gonna cross over this bridge. You can get a little breeze here sometimes just because it's so open. Then you're gonna continue on this pathway and actually run a little bit more through a shaded section before you enter into um, East Shore development. East Shore is a, a new development with some big, beautiful homes. We'll give you something to look at. So you turn into East Shore Park and now you're gonna make a little loop through this development. You're on the roads in this section. Now you're kind of on the pathway and then on the roads, they kind of alter a little bit. And then you're gonna to come to another aid station, aid station number five. As you run through the East Shore subdivision, you've got two aid stations, aid station number five and then aid station number six in this section. Um, aid station five is along East Shore Drive and aid station six is gonna be located right before you get onto the waterway. Um, you're gonna pass mile markers four, 22, and then 14 through this section. So you're at mile 14 right before you get onto the waterway. I'd advise that you get fluids nutrition at aid station six each time before you go back onto the waterway because you've got a little bit over 1.1 miles, I think it's 1.2 miles until you hit your next aid station um, when you get off the waterway to make sure you, you get some fluids. This section doesn't have a lot of spectator coverage in it, so um, a lot of the athletes that have raced this find this kind of a, one of the more challenging sections of the course. As you exit East Shore, you're gonna take this little cut through that takes you onto the waterway. And here's where you'll get extremely remotivated because the crowds out here are fantastic. And it's all the athletes that have raced this say that it's much easier to run on this section just because um, the crowd is so fantastic and they just, they really wake you up and give you energy. You'll run along the waterway. You're gonna pass mile marker 24 approximately um, around here. And then in just a little ways, you're gonna pass uh, mile marker six. On this section, so on the south side of the waterway, there are no aid stations. It's a long stretch. So that's why I recommended that you make sure before you get onto the waterway each time that you make sure you take nutrition because you have a little bit longer than, than normal between aid stations. So between aid station six and seven, um, you've got quite a gap. Run along the waterway. Here you'll find a lot of people out. There's a lot of great restaurants along this section, so the crowd gets really rowdy around here. Off to the left is the host hotel, the Marriott. You'll continue on the south side of the waterway, and then what you're gonna do is you're gonna come off the waterway and you're gonna loop around the Anadarko building um, and then encounter aid station number seven. Here we go, we're looping around. Right here is aid station number seven. You'll actually run on the pathway here and then they'll put you out on the road. Um, then you're gonna take a right onto Timberlock. Got a little construction here. They actually will keep you on the road in this section. Hopefully there won't be all that construction. As you come off Woodlock Forest, you're gonna loop around a building um, and then you're gonna continue on the waterway under this scaffolding. Um, you'll get some shade with that scaffolding if it's still there. You're gonna run to the end of the waterway where you encounter aid station number eight. You're gonna make a hairpin turn at the end of the waterway. You can see them all there um, coming up gonna make a hairpin turn and then come back and continue running in the direction that you just came out along the waterway. Now, depending on which loop you're, you are on, if you're on loop one or two, you're gonna continue staying straight along the waterway back towards Town Green Park, back towards transition area. If you're on your last loop, um, you're gonna veer off into the finish line area, the finish chute. It's very clearly marked and you'll be very, very happy to see on that last loop that you're gonna veer off to the right into the finish area. If you're on the first or second loop, you'll continue on this pathway. You're gonna encounter mile marker eight, approximately around here. Again, you're gonna go back through the section with the restaurants, 
lot of people drinking beer, hooting and hollering for you. It's fantastic. You're going to run along the waterway. You're going to wish that you could jump in that body of water to cool off. They kind of finagle you off of a pathway and onto the trolley cart. It's very clear though, they mark it really well. Up here you have transition area coming up. So if you're on loops one and two, you're gonna go past transition and then you're gonna pick the course up where you started for your second and third loop. Hope this helps. Hope this helps prepare you for Ironman Texas. Um, let us know if you have any questions or comments www.outrivalracing.com.